welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. TACCOM 2022 is fast approaching. Why does it matter? Well, it's like Canada's SHOT Show, but better in a few ways. For one, you're allowed to attend, so it's open to the public. Anybody and everybody can come, you just pay your entrance fee and you go in. The second best part is, you can buy stuff. <laughs> yes. So, and also because this is where Canadian manufacturers bring out what they have made for the market in that year. So in 2022, there are quite a few uh, manufacturers that came up with some really new and really cool stuff. And we're gonna be hitting them up for some interviews on those. So I really hope to see you there because it is literally this weekend. So if you are in the area where it's not too long of a drive, definitely head out to TACOM 2022. It's in Mississauga at the International Center. I will be there. If you see me, make sure you say hi. So the first company we want to see is Apex Optics. So Canada's optics market has really been kind of dry for years. I mean, we have King Optics. They're, they're pretty budget. And we also have Tangent Theta, which is really budget as well. No, I'm kidding. They're actually on the upper, upper, upper tier, even on the world scale. Like they're like six, seven, I believe even $8,000 optics. I know. <laughs> I don't own any optics that are that expensive. <laughs> I'm curious though. I'm very curious. Anyway, Apex Optics came out with the Apex Rival. So Apex Optics is a Canadian company. It came out with the Apex Rival 4 to 32 by 56 millimeter objective. So this is a high power, long range PRS type optic. So and it's about $2,000, a little bit more. So it really creates a middle ground. And they're planning on coming out with some new stuff too. So I'm hoping that's what they're announcing at TACOM 2022. I think they're coming out with some LPVOs, which I'm really hoping to see there. Next company is Black Creek Labs. So we did the factory tour. If you haven't seen that video, it's really cool. We, it was really interesting to see the whole factory, how everything is made. I was really impressed. And they told us about this new rifle they're building, the TRX which as you guys already know, they have the MRX Bison, which is basically a 5.56. Uh, it's kind of like an AR equivalent in a bolt action. So really light in a little chassis, it takes AR mags. It even takes a proprietary AR type mag that has 20 rounds. So, and it's non-restricted. Best of all, it was non-restricted. They're coming out with the TRX, which is a short action, which means it'll be for 308, 6.5 Creedmoor and all the ones we love. And I'm really hoping they're gonna have that one finalized at TACOM 2022. So that is high on my priority list. Next is Crusader Arms. So Crusader came out with their nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine, I think at the beginning of the year. So I think it around March or something. And they also did come out with a 5.56 upper conversion for their Crusader nine. So their nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine with a conversion kit. So you could buy that. And just, I think a few days ago this week, they came out with the Templar 5.56, which is a completely different rifle in itself, and it's a AR-180B type variant as well, I believe. And it takes the AR mags, and it's non-restricted. Best of all, it's non-restricted. That's, that's the key word we want to hear is non-restricted. So the Templar 5.56 is high on our priority list. Next is the Gravel Agency. So for those of you who have no idea what that is, don't worry. They're the guys who used to do or still do the Remington warranty work on Remington rifles. At least that's where I sent my Remington 783 about, whew, I want to say about six years ago. And I believe they're also the importer for Remington Arms currently. Remington, if you don't know, they haven't done anything. Like they, they came out with the Remington 700 years ago and pretty much have just sat on their laurels doing minor modifications and the reputation and quality control kind of went downhill. And just recently, they're saying they turned this around and they're saying with the Remington Alpha One is what they're gonna bring themselves back with. And apparently addresses all the shortcomings of how they were before with the Remington Alpha One. I believe it's a still a Remington 700 footprint. It has a better trigger, better barrels, better, I believe better action and better everything. So I wanna get some first hands on, uh, on, on that Remington Alpha One, and hopefully I can bring one home because I really wanna get a review done on one of those. Next is Kodiak Defense. They'll actually be at the North Silva booth. So they have the WK-180C, which we're all familiar with. This is like Canada's AR kind of thing. Um, the 180C is probably one of the most budget, uh, small caliber arms that's been on the market. They've pretty much flooded the market with this really cool 180B type variant, the WK-180C. And then, you know, there was always some feedback and they came out with the WK-180C Gen 2, 
which has a different upper, which is cooler looking as well. And they also have the NSR. So we're gonna be doing some interviews, I believe with Owen at the North Silva booth. Next is Sterling Arms. So Sterling Arms is going to be in attendance, I believe at the Shooting Edge. And we're gonna be checking out the uh, Sterling Arms R18 Mark II. I, I believe they may have their new, um, new handguards coming in with the M locks there and possibly even the new triggers. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, that's that's what's gonna be there. So we're gonna talk to them too. So a lot of really, really cool rifles, a lot of new things on the market this year that I'm gonna be doing interviews with. And if there is something that uh, you guys want me to go see and interview, absolutely leave it in the comments below. I will hit them up and we will get some interviews done. So, uh, oh, actually another company that is not attending that I was really hoping was is Lockhart Tactical. So uh, Lockhart Tactical came out with the Raven 9, in, in design anyway, a long time ago. I wanna say like five, four years ago. And it was pending RCMP classification for the longest time until 2020, I think like in December. And then they got the approval that it's non-restricted. And finally, right now, they've completed their first batch of Raven 9s. So this is a nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine that looks super cool. It's really, really, really cool. So if you're a fan of non-restricted pistol caliber carbines that are an AR type format that take Glock mags, well, take a look at the Raven 9 because this thing is super cool. So if I haven't mentioned something you guys want me to see, leave it in the comments below. I will hit them up. So thanks for watching Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. I hope to see you there at the International Center at TACCOM 2022.